This year's AFL success story, North Melbourne and its radical new coach who's taken the club from rags to riches. Mark O'Brien joined the Roos camp for this exclusive look at Dennis Pagan, the quiet achiever. North has been bonded by this man, Dennis Pagan, who's lifted the team to the top of the ladder. One of the Pagan rituals is to take his team into a huddle to whisper his last minute urgings. Yeah, sure, you can make a few tactical strategies before the game and during the game, but you're pretty much in the players' hands, and what you do on, uh, on match days is probably only 5 or 10 per cent of uh, uh, what happens for the whole week. Before Pagan took over, North was one of the jokes of the AFL, but that soon changed under the new coach. For more than 10 years, he'd been a quiet achiever in thirds and seconds football. And North Melbourne were uh, maligned and uh, down for a long while. Um, our players see that they've got their head above water now, and I think it's going to take a hell of a lot to, uh, to get them uh, unfocused. I'd say his style's very much built around his relationship with his players and, and the way he gets along with everyone. Communication is the key to Pagan style. One-on-one -on -one chats with players are central. Communication, man management, getting uh, people to do what you want them to do and uh, hopefully teaching them something at every session. What do you think of Dennis Pagan? Oh, I think he's fantastic. <laughs> Why is that? Because I'm his mother. <laughs> because his mother. The open door policy applies to the dressing room where kids are welcome. <laughs> And in the build-up to a match, after training, North players share a weekly meal and watch videos of their highlights. OK, fellas, just have a look and just see where we, we got our goals from last week. But Pagan shies away from taking credit. Our players have got a lot of natural talent and maybe it's just their talent and class coming out. Maybe the things I'm trying to achieve, it'd it still happen anyway. But we... Platten at the bottom of the pack, flicks it round his body, does still, can he take him off? Despite the loss to Hawthorne, North is still on top of the ladder. They've gone from being the laughing stock to the pace setter that everyone wants to beat. The North fans are hoping that Pagan's winning way will continue and dressing room jubilance will be there on the last weekend in September. Mark O'Brien, Seven Nightly News. To cricket and Robinson.